hello friends in our previous lecture we have completed case 2 and case 3 now we are going for case 4 so let's uh, see about case 4 let's write so case 4 heading is when sacrificing the ratio of old partners is given now friends one thing i may have to tell you is that in case 3 sacrifice share was given and we have done the calculation on that base we have found the new new share we have made the denominators equal and find the new ratio and from sacrifice share we have obtained sacrifice ratio. Now in this sum sacrificing ratio is ready so we have to think about only the new ratio. So which are the steps? Let's see. Old ratio comma share of new partner and Sacrificing the ratio will be given. Now, as from case 3, we will write the things which are given also. So, here old ratio, share of new partner, and sacrificing ratio will be given. So, how to start the sum? First, we have to obtain sacrifice share from it. So, sacrifice share is equal to share of new partner multiply share in sacrificing ratio now friends you all may be thinking one thing that why sir is writing this point directly we cannot obtain as yesterday we have seen the sacrifice shares of a and b in the previous sum were 1 by 10 and 1 these are sacrifice shares. Now, if we have to make the sacrifice ratio, then it's 1 is to 1. Now, you think one thing. That from this ratio, can we make 1 by 10? If we are making the shares, then it is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. It's not possible. So, the thing is that from sacrifice shares, sacrifice ratio can be obtained. But from sacrifice ratio, sacrifice shares directly cannot be obtained. We have to use this formula. After that only we can write this thing. See, in yesterday's sum, 1 by 2 into 1 by 5, share of new partner was 1 by 5. So, it is 1 by 10. Again, 1 by 2 into 1 by so, 1 by 5. So, it is 1 by 10. So, friends, this thing I will give the notes now. After completing these steps, that from sacrifice share, sacrifice ratio can be obtained. But from sacrifice ratio, you cannot obtain sacrifice shares because it should be multiplied with the new partner. See, still 1 is 2, 1 is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2, still 1 is 2, 1 is 1 by 10 and 1 by 10. The reason is main is that, that sacrifice share is the share which we have to give from ourselves, which any partner is giving from his share. And share in sacrificing ratio is the share directly obtained from here. So, when sacrificing ratio is given, you have to find sacrifice share by the formula share of new partner into share in sacrificing ratio. Now, the steps are same like the previous case. In the previous case, sacrifice share was there. So, we have found the new share. So, here also now the next step is new share. New share is equals to old share minus sacrifice share or simply you write sacrifice then also it's okay make denominators equal and find out new ratio make denominators equal and find out new ratio so here sacrifice ratio is given so only we have to find the new ratio but friends, one thing you have to understand from this sum that from sacrifice share, sacrifice ratio is possible. But from sacrifice ratio, sacrifice shares are not possible. So we are writing about it. From above case 3 and case 4, we 
we need to clarify two terms which will confuse us two terms that is sacrifice share and share in sacrifice ratio what is sacrifice share it is the share which is surrender by old partner from his share to the new partner it has big denominators does its formula is sacrifice share is equals to share of new partner multiply share in sacrifice ratio then again what is share in sacrifice ratio what is this share in sacrifice ratio it is just a part of sacrifice ratio is just a part of sacrifice ratio it has no formula it is directly determined from sacrifice ratio it has small denominators so friends first i will tell both this thing what is sacrifice share and what is share in sacrifice ratio so sacrifice share is the share which is surrendered by old partner from his share to the new partner and it has big denominators and the formula is this and in this i have written it is just a part of sacrifice ratio it has no formula it is directly determined from the sacrifice ratio it has small denominators so in yesterday's sum 1 by 10 and 1 by 10 were sacrifice share so sacrifice ratio was 1 is to 1 see this is sacrifice ratio and if we are talking about sharing sacrifice ratio then they are 1 by 2 so sacrifice share has big denominators then share in sacrifice ratio so you can understand in yesterday's sum sacrifice share were 1 by 10 1 by 2 so from that sacrifice ratio is 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 and if we obtain share in sacrifice ratio then it is 1 is to 1 by 2 1 by 2 so you have to remember here denominators are big and here denominators are small so this is the clarification of this case so now we shall move towards the sum. this you don't have to write this is just an example okay now we are solving the sums regarding case four selling profit and loss in the ratio of 3 is to 2 so this is the old ratio they admitted c as a new partner for 1 by 10 share in profit so this is share of new partner c 1 by 10 for which we will acquire 
from A and B in equal proportion. So he will acquire from A and B in equal proportion means sacrifice ratio is 1 is to 1. A is to B. Old ratio 3 is to 2. So their old shares will be 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. Then share of new partner C 1 by 10 when A is to B sacrifice ratio is 1 is to 1 so share in sacrifice ratio will be 1 by 2 this much information is given only new ratio is to be obtained because sacrifice ratio is ready so for this new ratio, first what calculation we require? First we require sacrifice share. As in this sum, sacrifice shares are not given, but sacrifice ratio is given. So we have to obtain sacrifice share. And the formula for sacrifice share is share of new partner multiply share in sacrificing ratio. Sacrifice share of A. Share of new partner C is 1 by 10. Share of new partner C is 1 by 10. Share in sacrificing ratio of A is 1 by 2. So it will be 1 by 20. Then sacrifice share of B. Again 1 by 10 into 1 by 2. So it is 1 by 20. So again you can see sacrifice shares are 1 by 20, 1 by 20. So sacrifice ratio is 1 is 2. Also, share in sacrifice ratio is 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Now, we will obtain new share. New share is equals to old share minus sacrifice share. I will write it here. New share of A. A's old share is 3 by 5. A's sacrifice is 1 by 20. 25s are 100, 23s are 60, 5 ones are 5, 55 upon 100. New share of B, old share of B is 2 by 5, sacrifice of B is 1 by 20. So 25 is 100, 22s are 40, 4 5s are 5 ones are 5, so it is 35 by 100. Okay, 25 is 100, 22 is 40, 5 ones are 5. Next, new share of C. Share of C is 1 by 10. Now we have to multiply to make the denominator 100, we have to multiply with 10 10. So it will be 10 by 100. To make the denominator of C equals to 100, we have multiplied 10 by 10. So now A is to B is to C new ratio 55 is to 35 is to 10 all are divisible by 5 so new ratio finally will be 11 is to 7 is to 2 cut by 5 55 by 5 is 11 35 by 5 is 7 10 by 5 is Okay, so this is sixth sum. One more sum is there for this. Uh, four. What you have to remember in short that old ratio will be given, share of new partner will be given. What we have to do is only the sacrifice ratio is given. We have to obtain first sacrifice share, then new share. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so now we are going for seventh sum. So, friends, we have eight types of sums and we are in case four. ABC are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 20%, 40%, 40%. Percentage are given. They admitted D as a new partner for 1 by 8 sharing profit. 
d is to ratio is shared from b and c in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Now see, there are three partners, fourth partner is the new partner. And he is receiving his share from B and C, so A is not sacrificing here. <coughs> A is to B is to C. Old ratio, 20%, 40%, 40%. So again, how can we write? First, old shares are not right. Or if we do in such a way, old ratio again, then we can get 2 is to 4 is to 4. How? In every percentage are there, in every zero are also there, so we have it done. Again, one more time, old ratio we can do it as 1 is to 2 is to 2. This, this will be very easy because, see, 20%, 20%, 20%, 40%, 40%. Percentage are cut, zero zeros are cut, so 2, 4, 4. Now, if we deduct the half, what to do? Then, now we can get old shares 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 2 by 5. Share of new partner B is 1 by 8. Now, B is to C, sacrifice ratio 3 is to 2. So, share in sacrifice ratio will be 3 by 5, 2 by 5. And also, A does not sacrifice. Because nothing is given about A, so A is not sacrificing. Yes. Now, <coughs> sacrifice ratio is given, old ratio is given. How to start the sum? First, we have to obtain the sacrifice shares. So, sacrifice share is equals to share of new partner B multiply share in sacrifice ratio. Sacrifice share of B because A is not sacrificed. Share of new partner B is 1 by 8. Share in sacrificing ratio here is 3 by 5. So 3 by 40. 3 ones are 3, 8 fives are 40. Then again, sacrifice share of C. 1 by 8 multiplied 2 by 5. So 2 by 40. 2 ones are 2, 8 fives are 40. So, 3 is to 2 is again 3, 3 is to 2 sacrifice ratio. It has big denominators, it has small denominators. Now, the new share. New share is equals to old share minus sacrifice share. As A is not sacrificing, but still in new ratio, he has to be there. So, new share of A. A's old share is 1 by 5, A's sacrifice is 0, so A's answer is 1 by 5 itself. Because A is not sacrificing, then new share of B, B's old share is 2 by 5, sacrifice share of B is 3 by 40. So 40 fives are 2 and 40 twos are 8, 8 5 threes are 50. So it will be uh, 65 upon 200. How? 40 fives are 200. 40 twos are 80. 5 threes are 50. Then new share of C. Old share 2 by 5. Sacrifice 2 by 40. Again the same thing. 40 fives are 200. 40 twos are 80, 5 twos are 10, 70 by 200. Now, also, we are having new share of B. Now, B share is only 1 by 8. Now, friends, we have 4 partners here, namely A, B, C, D. And the denominators of B and C are of 200, so we have to make others as 200. So, we will subtract 
this by 40 to make it 200 so 40 by 200 and here we will subtract by 50 to make it 200 sorry not 50 I have to check 200 by 8 25 I have to do here with 25 so 25 upon 2 so if you do 200 by 8 you can get 25 now a is to b is to c is to d new ratio 40 is to 65 is to 70 is to 25 all the terms are divisible by 5 so new ratio will be 8 13 14 and 5 cut by 5 so we have divided the terms by 5 so 8 is to 13 is to 14 is to 5 is the answer for this thing okay. so friends our 7th sum is also over and hereby we are completing our case 4 in case 4 sacrificing ratio is given so what things are to be remembered old ratio share of new partner and sacrificing ratio will be given as sacrifice shares are not there, so we will find sacrifice share by using the formula share of new partner multiply share in sacrificing ratio. After that, we will find the new share. Formula for new share will be old share minus sacrifice. Making the denominators equal, we will find out the new ratio. Sacrifice ratio is given, so nothing about that. Okay, friends, now we are going for case 5. The fifth type of sums. So I hope everyone is watching and everyone is writing the things. Otherwise, will be very much problem. Okay. Case 5. Now case 5 is about when Old partners sacrifice particular fraction of their share in favor of. new partner when old partner sacrifice particular fraction of their share in the favor of new partner so friends what is the difference between the previous case and here in third case if we have see one and two are same to it from case three we have started the difference case one was uh, case three was about sacrifice shares again case 4 was about sacrifice ratio is given. Now here the sacrifice is given but it's a type of fraction that a partner is giving a particular fraction from their share. Means uh, to identify this one what is that to identify? In case 3 for identification from his share what is given and here of his share what will be given because I am giving my own particular fraction. I am giving my own particular fraction of share. So how we will give? We will write some explanations. Okay. What things will be given? We will write first. Old ratio. Common. old ratio and fraction of sacrifice will be given old ratio and fraction of sacrifice will be given from this fraction of sacrifice again you need these my friends sacrifice sale 
in previous case sacrifice share was calculated as share of new partner multiply share in sacrifice ratio here it will be calculated as old share multiply fraction of sacrifice why what is the difference see in case four a new partner is getting the sacrifice of old partners so new partner is getting the sacrifice of old partners in some ratio so for finding sacrificing ratio we multiply share of new partner multiply share in sacrificing ratio here a partner itself is giving some of the portion of his share now to get the sacrifice share what we do we will multiply his own old share within his fraction of sacrifice so that we can know how much amount he is sacrificing and here share of new partner is not given that we have to calculate so share of new partner is equal to now i said many times that the total of sacrifice share is always the share of new partner 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 2 by 10 2 by 10 if you got 1 by 5 you can take the example from that sum also i have done so what we have to do sum of sacrifice of old partners which means sacrifice share of a plus sacrifice share of b in short share of new partner is calculated as sum of sacrifice of old partners means sacrifice of a plus sacrifice of b okay yes and as you know after sacrifice share always we find new share new share is equals to old share minus sacrifice share make denominators equal and find out new ratio from sacrifice share find out sacrifice ratio here comparing to previous case steps are little bit more here only old ratio and fraction of sacrifice of own partner is given so for that first you calculate the sacrifice share old share because partner is giving his own share so old share into fraction of sacrifice after that share of new partner is not given which is the sum of sacrifice of both partners after that new share is equals to old share minus sacrifice make denominator equal find out new ratio and as sacrifice shares are given we will obtain sacrifice ratio of it now one more thing from above case by we came across a new one fraction of sacrifice we came across a new term that is fraction of sacrifice now we will see what is this fraction of sacrifice what is fraction of sacrifice it is the fractional part which a partner surrenders of his old share Full stop. In the sum, comma, it can be identified as of his share. How will you identify the sum? This is of case by. In sum, it will be written of his share. Okay. Now we are solving some sums.
again question number 3 now for case 5 we are having 10th 11th and 1 mixed case 5 and 6 that will do after 6th case but now we are doing 10th a and B are partners selling profit and loss in the ratio of 3 to 1 whole ratio is given admitted C as a new partner but share is not given A sacrifices 1 by 3rd underlying office share B sacrifices 1 by 4th underlying office share in favor of C so we have to do this A is in B old ratio 3 is to 1 old share 3 by 4, 1 by 4. New partner C is admitted. But share is not given, so still we are writing like this. Then, fraction of sacrifice of A and fraction of sacrifice of B. 1 by 3rd of is share 1 by 4th of his share see office share is the identification of the sum so old share and fractions of sacrifice are given now let's solve the sum first we have to find sacrifice share so sacrifice share here is equals to old share multiply fraction of sacrifice sacrifice share of a a's old share is 3 by 4, a's fraction of sacrifice is 1 by 3, don't cut it, let it be 3 by 12. You will see if we have changed. Sacrifice share of B, 1 by 4 multiply 1 by 4 again, this 1 by 4 and this 1 by 4 will come 1 by 16. Okay, so sacrifice shares are done. Now we want share of new partner C is equals to sacrifice of A plus sacrifice of B. See, we have to add here. So, instead of doing this thing, let's cut this and make this simple. Why? If we, if it uh, did not do, then also it was possible. But because we have to add these terms and again do a long calculation, here 3 is cut, so directly is possible. Okay? If we are not cutting, then also answer will come. So, A is 1 by 4 plus it is 1 by 16. 16 fours are 16. 16 ones are 16. 4 ones are 4. 20 by 16. Don't cut it, let it be. Okay. Sacrifice shares are found. Share of new partner C is found. Now, new ratio. So, new share is equal to old share minus 75 share new share of A A's old share is 3 by 4 A's sacrifice is 1 by 4 see if we are doing sacrifice of A as 1 by 4 then directly we can get the answer 2 by 4 because 3 minus 1 exactly directly it's possible so when the denominators are equal you directly do the sum don't make any difference ok next new share of b old share of b is 1 by 4 sacrifice of b is 1 by 16 6 fours are sorry 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 16 fours are 64 16 ones are 16 4 ones are 4 12 by 64 new share of b is old share is 1 by 4 Sacrifice is 1 by 16. 16 fours are 64, 16 ones are 16, 4 ones are 4, 12 by 64. New share of C, it is 20 by 64. Now see, here no changes are to be made. Instead, change is made there. To make 64, we have to multiply it with 16. So, 32 upon 64. Now, A is to B is to C. New ratio 32 is to 12 is to 20. New ratio. We can cut by 4. If we cut by 4, 8 
is to 3 is to 5. Again, A is to B. Sacrifice share 1 by 4, 1 by 16. We have to make change here 4 by 4 because we have to obtain the ratio. So 4 by 16, 1 by 16, sacrifice ratio between A and B is 4 is to 1. See again I will repeat the whole sum because this sum is literally more than the old ratio is given, share of new partner is not given, only fractions of sacrifice are given. So we have started the sum with sacrifice share. Sacrifice share is equals to old share multiply fraction of sacrifice. 3 by 4 into 1 by 3. 3 if we cut then things will be easy. 1 by 4. Sacrifice of B. 1 by 4 into 1 by 4. Here 1 by 4. Here also 1 by 4. 1 by 16. In these types of sums, share of new partner is not given. We have to add this so we will get the share of new partner. After all, we are getting the share of new partner. After that, new share is equal to old share minus sacrifice share. We have made the denominators equal here and we have cut by 4 and found the new ratio. From these sacrifice shares, we have obtained sacrifice ratio. Here, denominators were not equal. So, we have made it 16 and we have obtained this. One more sum is there, that is 11 sum. For case 5, one more sum, 11 sum. A and B are partners selling profit and loss in the ratio of 5 to 3. They admitted C as a new partner. A sacrifices 30% of his share, B sacrifices 20% of his share in favor of C. Again, old ratio and fraction of sacrifice. Underline this of his share. 30% his share, 20% its of his share. Okay? A is to B. Old ratio. 5 is to 3. Old share. 5 by 8. 3 by 8. New partner. C is admitted. Now, new partner C is admitted. Fraction of sacrifice of A. 30% of his share which will be equal to 30 by 9. Fraction of sacrifice of B 20% of his share which would be 20 by 100. If we still make them short 2 by 10 and 3 by 10 which will be little bit easy because if we are making it this way then multiplying with 100 will be a big thing. After that we will start with sacrifice share. Sacrifice share is equal to old share multiply fraction of sacrifice. Sacrifice share of A. A's old share is 5 by 8. A's fraction of sacrifice is 3 by 10. So it is 15 by 80. 5 3 is 15, 10 is 80. Then sacrifice share of B. 3 by 8 multiply 2 by 10. 3 by 8 is the old share, 2 by 10 is the fraction. 3 2 is 6 by 8. After this, we will have new share is equal to sorry, sorry, share of new one, not new share. Here only I will calculate share of new partner C is equal to sacrifice of A plus sacrifice of B. 50 by 80 plus 6 by 80 
15 plus 6 by 18, not 2 18, 2 18, okay? 21 by 8. Again, I will repeat for each one. Old ratio is given, new partner is admitted, and fractions are given. Start with sacrifice share, old share into fraction of sacrifice, then find the share of new partner C, and then find new share. New share is equals to old share minus sacrifice share. New share of A. A's old share is 5 by 8. A's sacrifice is 15 by 80. 80 into 8, 640. 80 fives are 400. 15 eights are 120. So it is 280 by 640. Let me check. 80 into 8. Then 80 into 5 and 15 into 8. Yes. See, I can do this thing directly with 0, 0 also, but I am not doing because it will not be applicable for all sums. So do as per the rules. New share of B. Old share of B is 3 by 8. Sacrifice is 6 by 80. So 80 into 80 is 640. 83 is 240. 86 is 48. So it is 192 divided by 640. Okay. Then new share of C 21 by 80. We have done here. Now we will multiply simply 8 to make it 640. So 21 8 is 168 divided by 640. See now all the denominators are same. Now A is to B is to C. New ratio 280 is to 192 is to 168. Now we shall cut it by I think 12. We will check all are divisible. No, by 12 it's not possible. We will shall cut by 8. Yes, we shall cut by 8. New ratio. Cut by 8. As 8 is there, okay. 280 by 8. 35. 192 divided by 8, 24. 168 divided by 8, 24. Now this is 7 fiza, this is 8 fiza, this is 7 fiza. So there is no common term between them. So this is okay. And if you are writing this answer and if you don't know it is divisible by it, then also it's not a problem. Now between A and B, sacrifice shares are 15 by 80 and 6 by 8. So 15 is to 6 or if we cut by 3, if we cut by 3 here it will be 5 and here it will be 2. So sacrifice ratio between A and B, sacrifice ratio between A and B will be 5 is to 2. How? 15 by 8 is 6 by 8. 15 is to 6. If we cut by 3, 15 by 3 is 5, 6 by 3 is 2. So friends, today we have completed total case 4 and case 5. Now tomorrow we will go for case 6 and then we will solve a sum which is having 5 and 6 case mix. So that's all for today. Thank you so much.